Hello everybody, my name is Elijah, welcome to 85 Studios, and welcome to Maxwell Game Reserve Wildlife Refuge in McPherson County, Kansas. Uh, we're going out on the uh, trails today, and we're going to go ahead and take some video for you. Um, I hope you like this drone footage here. This is, uh, this is the lake from pretty close to where we parked, and this is looking mostly north uh, over the lake. So, um, yeah, this is, this is an idea of just uh, what you're actually looking at here. The wind is blowing a little bit, uh, so the drone uh, kind of has some trouble with the wind. So, uh, it's not bad, but it's, it's a little shaky. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, shall we hit the trails? Let's go, guys. Alright, guys. So we're at the trailhead, and we're headed uh, south. We got the old ranchero here. He took us out here, courtesy of the old ranchero. What's he doing, baby girl? What's he sniffing? What's he sniffing? Okay, it's been uh, about maybe two or three years since uh, since I've been out on this trail. So let's take a look at what we got going on. Open to archery, deer hunting, open to archery, turkey hunting, uh, Kansas parks, state parks, and public land regulations. The trail's that way, no horses allowed. Oh, Sapphire, are you a horse? What are you licking? Don't lick that. It's a pole. She's got this weird thing, like, she licks posts and poles and metal and stuff. And wood. I don't know what's up with that. All right, well, we're going. Come on, Seth. Wait, let me hook you up on your harness instead of your collar. Stop, stop, listen to me. Listen to me, stop. No, stop. Hold on a second, guys. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Let's go. Ready? Oh, she's got to go potty. <laughs> Figures. She won't drink any water, but she's ready to go potty. Come on. Come on. Let's go. It's nice out here. It's really beautiful. Now, as far as I know, um, down there where the camera's pointed now is uh, the area of the lake where... Uh, it's basically a separate pond where they basically, uh, I can't remember what it's called, it's like a spawning area and you're not allowed to fish there because basically the fish that are in there are so small that they're not ready to be released into the big lake yet. Sapphire, you have to wait for me. I'm trying to make a video here. Sapphire, stop pulling me. I'm going to put you on your no-pull harness. Well, let's sigh. All right. So, basically... Oh, wow, look. Look. Some nature, some butterflies. Woo! Okay. Sapphire, come on. Sapphire would chase butterflies. She's weird like that. All right. You get the ultra wide angle here. So you can see everything that I can see here. Come on, Saps. Let's go. What do you sniff, sniff, sniffs? Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. She is... She was on this trail before, um, but it's been a little while. So... Hopefully, she will be good girl for us. Yeah, that, that marshland area out there that you see, that's basically, uh, that's part of the hatchery area. Um, we had a lot of rain here recently, though, so that might not actually be what I think it is. It's about maybe 
55, 60 degrees out here. Sorry, that sound you're hearing is my tripod on my uh, backpack hitting something. Oh! Come on. Soil profile by McPherson County Soil Conservation District. Fertile soil is a major resource of McPherson County. Our soil is developed. What are you doing? Stop that. Stop. Uh, trail marker A. Stop being a dog. Let's go. Yeah, I, I don't know how much nature we're actually going to see out here. Wow, that's weird. That stream down there is red. It's like copper soil. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I always talk really nice to Sapphire, but really she, she's, she's very stubborn. Come on. Come on. Let's walk. Let's go for a walk. She's very stubborn. Okay, yeah, we got like a little stream here. There are mosquitoes out, but um, I've only been bit by one so far um, this year. It's March. Yeah, see? That's kind of... That's pretty cool. And this bridge that I'm walking on here, kind of rickety looking, it's soft. But there's a mosquito buzzing around me, so I gotta keep moving. Come on, Seth. Come on. Come. Come on. Sorry about that loud banging noise in my behind us. That's uh, my tripod hitting something because it's bouncing around. Let's go, Sapphire. There's another trail, but it may just be a deer trail. I don't trust it. I'm going to stay on the main path. Come on, Sapphire. Let's go. Let's go. What do you see? She either hears or sees something she don't like. What is it? Come on. You okay? You hear her? She's growling. What is it? Maybe she smells something. Could be a coyote. I didn't bring any bug spray. Brought all of my equipment. Video equipment, that is. Audio equipment. Tripod. I gotta find out what the hell that's hitting. What are you tracking, Sapphire? She's tracking something. Yeah, I figured there might be a lot of mosquitoes out here. One thing you gotta really watch out for is ticks. Let's go, let's go. But uh, yeah, I like that, look at that. That's weird. Mosquito breeding ground right there. Come on, let's go. Gnats everywhere. And we got these pallet things here across this. Ooh. Oh, wow. So, let's see what we got here. That is a big dog. That's bigger than Sapphire. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. If you look, look at Sapphire's paw print compared to that. That is a big dog. And Sapphire is about 45 pounds, if that gives you an idea. That thing, two of her paws could fit in it. That's a big dog. 
but I'm not real worried because if I need it I've got a big gun not that I would ever shoot anything um, <laughs> why do you do a handstand every time you go potty you're weird not that I would ever use it unless I absolutely felt that my life or my dog's life were in danger uh, but I took it with me because we're in the wilderness and I do not know what we're dealing with precisely and I know there are things like coyotes and stuff like that out here that can be rabid I don't think they would mess with us unless maybe Sapphire was in heat or something but I don't know she is a dog after all and she's a girl dog so it's a distinct possibility but I wanted to take her with me because sometimes dogs can sense things that humans can't they can smell things Look at that little waterfall don't drink that I've got water in the car for you and I offered you water before we went on the hike and you refused I don't know where that water came from or where it's been and I don't know how clean it is so I don't want you drinking it because if it's got some kind of doggy bacteria in it that'll kill you or hurt you I don't want you to be hurt part of my fatherly protection for her kicks in I'm letting her lead me by the way because if anything were ahead of us See how she's tracking, she's sniffing. Sapphire. We got a cattle fence. We got a cattle fence on this side that uh, is being held up with these orange T-posts. Well, we got, a, we got a fork in the road here. We can either go left or right. Sapphire, which way you want to go? You want to go right? Okay, let's go right then. Take the high ground. I think that might be the way back also. So I think it just uh, comes out here in the middle of nowhere and then curves around. So this is like a this is like a uh, little forested area here. Kind of neat. It's still early yet in the year, so uh, it's not real super green yet, but it will get that way. They keep these trails pretty clean. Um, come on, let's go uphill. Yeah, that's a trail marker, but I don't know uh, what trail marker it is because it's been broken. Maybe just wear and tear over time. There's a big sandstone slab. Wow, look at this. Sapphire, stop. Look at this. Boy, wouldn't you love to be running around in the dark and get run into that freaking thing. Big O thorns on that sucker. Look at that. Ow. I think it's a hedge tree. I'm not sure because it's, uh, I'm pretty sure, but um, here's another little one. But yeah, um, There's even dandelions in the forest. Look at that. Come on, Saps, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Pretty cool trail. This is going to be a pretty long video because uh, I want you guys to enjoy the walk with me. Come on, Saf. Let's go.
about ready to take that damn tripod off and start carrying it. Maybe we could put it on Sapphire. She can carry it for us. No, she's not a carrier. I just realized I forgot to put Sapphire's paw protectors on. Come on. Go. Go. She's sniffing some animal scat. Dogs, anyway. Like something dig, something dug this area here out. What is it, Sapphire? What is it? What is it, baby girl? Let's go. I'm not sure. Maybe a raccoon or something. These here, I don't know how well you can see them, but these are uh, sumac bushes. Like a little plant. Uh, I'm not sure if they're poison sumac. Well, guys, I smell stagnant water big time. Either that or it could be fertilizer. I did see a tractor that was fertilizing a field a ways back, but it was probably like 10 or 12 miles away. Pretty far. I don't know why we'd be smelling it here. The wind's coming out of the north west and that tractor in that field was probably yeah see here you go these are called sumac they're not edible so don't try to eat them but um, in the summertime they will oh that's cool that's cool yeah it's definitely springtime coming up spring has sprung Yeah, look down there. And up there. Big pine tree standing up there. I think it's a cedar tree. Sorry guys, I don't have a camera stabilizer. Um, so you're gonna see every step I take, unfortunately. I'm trying to walk gentle, but uh, the uh, there's trail marker J, and there's a big old chunk of sandstone over there. What are you doing, Sapphire? Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. She got a potty on it. Sapphire, what's the matter with you? Let's go. Man, if I was like you and I had to potty on everything and then brush it off with my feet and claw into the ground to mark my territory, we would never get anywhere. Because I would have to stop the truck every every five seconds. Oh, I think I gotta pee here. Oh, I think I gotta pee here. Dogs anyway. Come on. I am gonna edit this video a little bit, um, to kind of try and turn up the volume a little bit. Maybe put some uh, light background music in it. So that uh, you guys might be a little more entertained. But listen. Stop listening. It's quiet. I hear an airplane somewhere off to the northwest. That's a new smell. I don't know what that is. Some kind of flowering tree. It almost looks like an apple tree, but it's little. That's an ash tree. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Everything coming into bloom. Little shrubbery trees as high as... A little bit taller than I am. They're about eight feet tall. Left and right. Some, uh... Reeds. They're, uh... I think they call them uh, cactails or foxtails. C A C T A I L. Cactail. I'm noticing a lot of sandstone also. What's our battery at? Oh, we're good. 79%. We're good. Gotta watch out for ticks. 
Well, I don't know where this uh, horrid smell is coming from. It smells like uh, it smells like uh, cattle, like fertilizer, like manure. Go, 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 sapphire, go. I guarantee you ain't gonna see any animals with. Uh... Oh wow, look at this! Careful, watch your footing. nature fanatic guys I love the outdoors I love animals all plants just amazing where we are and places like this that have so many things that are untouched by man yet they're here for us to enjoy, still. Come on, Saps, let's head back up. That water looked really clean. I don't know if I drink it, but it looked pretty clean. Little pine tree. Sapphire, why are you so short? I love you, but you're short. Little bend in the river there. Coming down. Pine tree. We're heading back uphill here. This tree here must have got hit by lightning, it looks like. I'm not sure. Got some grape vines on it. Yeah, it looks like it must have gotten hit. Interesting. Sapphire. Alright, I gotta do something with this stupid tripod. It's driving me nuts. What is it even hitting? Okay, it's my drone controller hitting... My drone controller is hitting the uh, tripod. Alright, well, not a whole lot I can do about that, but... Just ignore it, guys. Get this heavy pack on with all this stuff in it. Come on. Why do you have to potty everywhere? Let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go. She's peeing on a thorn bush. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Why do you take forever? Let's go. A lot of sandstone. A lot of sandstone. Not this way. I hear a lot of birds out there. It's beautiful out here. I'm pretty still, a little bit of wind. Just enough to make it a little more comfortable. More of that sumac. More sumac. Some of it you can make tea out of, but some of it's poisonous. Like it's called poison sumac. So 
so you got to really watch out and make sure you know what you're doing. Most of this stuff is not edible. However, there are pine trees and pine nuts out here. There's N, trail head N marker, and O right next to each other. Oh, I love it out here. It's absolutely gorgeous. I have a tent in my uh, topper, but I don't have a rain fly for it. And it's about 20 years old. Um, I would go camping out here, but it's supposed to get down to 34 degrees tonight, and I don't have a sleeping bag, so... Yeah, no. Plus, I want to get back home and... Uh, edit the video and put it up for you guys. This is filmed with the GoPro, or uh, not the GoPro, it's it's the SJ5000, which is basically a GoPro. It's a 1920 by 1080 resolution uh, camera. And unfortunately, and a lot of you might notice this, uh, but unless I'm doing a video through OBS, um, which this video will be uh, put through OBS to put the um, the split screens together uh, for the beginning intro. Um, I'll go ahead and bump the frame rate up to uh, 50 frames per second. 1080, 50 frames per second. Did you just fall in that crack? Be careful. Come on, let's go, let's go. Wow, look at all that. As far as the eye can see. Untouched. Unkempt. Now, uh, in certain areas of this park, and I don't know if they're out right now or not, there are buffalo, and there's a lot of buffalo. Why do you have to pee every five seconds, Saffs? Come on. Well, that's an interesting tree. Yeah, look at that bark. That's weird. Another thorn tree. Man. I think it's hedge, I'm pretty sure. Well, it looks like we're getting into some rough territory here. By the way, I'm holding the camera just about chest height on me, and I'm five foot nine. So if that gives you an idea of perspective. Perspective. Uh-oh. Our trail looks like it may be ending nope okay they made it a little bit longer it used to be oh about fall down it used to be it went into a field and just ended and then you'd have to come back another way What's this? Watch out, Sapphire. That's a yucca. That is a yucca plant. In the springtime, they get stalks on them. They get little waxy white heads like uh, flowers budding on them. And those actually are edible. In fact, a lot of you, if you're from uh, the Texas area or the Rio Grande Valley, and some other areas where there's a large Hispanic population or if you are Hispanic um, you might even know how to cook them but basically um, they sell them in the stores even 
the uh, the yucca flowers, and uh, you can cook them up and I've actually tried them they're actually pretty good they kind of taste a little bit like a waxy kind of cauliflower kind of flavor but obviously it's too early right now to get them whoa whoa hey stop she thinks she's gonna get that come up here Saps something ran across the trail right there she thinks she's gonna get it come on Saps let's go let's, have, let's go this way Go. Oh my gosh. So, this is another area here where we're looking out. We got a prickly pear cactus over on this side of the bench. Careful, Saps. I'm gonna, put her, I'm gonna wind her leash up a little bit here so she doesn't get in that. Careful, baby girl. That is a prickly pear cactus right there. And those are pretty cool. They're pretty common around here, but they're pretty cool. Um, they get big old yellow or red flowers on them. And uh, little saplings. This area is absolutely amazing. I do hear planes out there, a lot of planes. Come on, Saps, let's go. I'm not gonna take a rest here because the sun is beating down pretty hard. And in fact, I think I may end up with some sunburn or something from it. I, I didn't bring a hat. My hair is pretty short pretty fair skinned so I don't know 65% battery I have another one in the pack for this and I have another camera but the other camera is the new camera and it has uh, it has uh, horrible audio quality it's called a best taker hundred bucks for a camera that has the horrible, most horrible audio quality I have ever seen. Go. Go. Buyer beware, right? Oh, oh. Caught the tripod on that. Looks like something may have been laying down right in here. Maybe a deer. Yeah, look at this. It's all knocked over. Maybe deer. Deer bedding. If you were allowed to camp in this area, I'll bet you could see some serious stars. Now, if anybody knows what these are please let me know in the comments we are in central Kansas um, I'm not sure exactly but they're growing in full sunlight and they look like they might be uh, they actually look like they may be poisonous to me come on you got to be real careful with things that are red, yellow, go. Well, oh, that's interesting. Don't know. You got to be real careful with things that are red and yellow in nature. Some things that are red are nice and edible. Um, most things that are yellow that are like berries are not unless you have the knowledge and you know exactly what you're doing never eat anything that you find on a trail or out in the wilderness growing because you can actually you can actually die 
The fern. The fern. Pretty cool plant. Sniff, 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 sniff. Let's go, baby girl. The sun is killer out here. This is going to be a very long video, I have a feeling. But I hope you guys enjoy it because um, I don't usually make videos that are over an hour long. Um, so, if you want, um, at any point in time, you can kick this video off. And usually when you, if you come back to it, YouTube will actually save your spot in the video. So it'll just keep playing where you left off. Unless you delete the cookies or cached data in your computer. In which case, you'll either have to start over or remember where you left off. Now, the other option is... Good girl. Good girl. Smart. Okay, we're getting into some muddy stuff here. Muddy paw pads. Let's walk on this side, baby girl. Uh, she can do it, but I'm not gonna. Oh, sorry. Into the mud. Yeah, see, they even had a bridge here, but... Wow. All right. Good girl. Good girl. Jump over. Jump over. Go over. Good girl. Good girl. Yes, good girl. That's daddy's good girl. Come on, go. Rugged trail. Wow. Well, this is an interesting thing. Sapphire, let's go over this. Go over. This way. This way. Left. Good girl. Good girl. Is there a way down? This is what I'm looking at, guys. This is cool. We got a little bog over here. It looks like um, a mosquito breeding ground. A lot of sandstone rock. Come on, baby girl, let's go. Sapphire. She's on the wrong side of me. I'll tell you what I'll do guys, I'll make a shorter video and then I'll leave a link to a longer video, the full version of this video, if you guys are interested. Because I know a lot of you don't have a whole lot of time, I know things are hectic and people are busy, working, going to school. And what not. This little bird, little sparrow. Wow, look at that. Fungus. There's a fungus among us. Pretty nice. Interesting stuff. The moss on the trees. Yeah, I know this is going to be a long video. Hopefully uh, you guys enjoy it because we don't really get to go out very much, Sapphire and I. There's some kind of bug on my arm. We don't get to really go out very much. So uh, 
the few and the far in between that we do get to go out. What is it? What? What, baby girl? Come on, let's go. Come on. Come. Come. The few and far in between times that we do actually get to go out. Wow. Look at that. That is a huge tree. Oh my gosh. Huge. Massive. That thing's got to be at least like 150 to 200 feet tall. This tree has been cut down by man. It may have been because it was blocking a path, but it looks like a cottonwood tree. I can't tell how many rings it had, but the wood is well cured. And it looks like we have run out of trail here. Well, okay, maybe not. No, you gotta go this way, Sapphire. You can't go under it that way. You gotta go above it. Like this way. Because I can't get through because of your leash. Got some trail mix. Yeah, these are all cut down by humans here. See how the clean cut that chainsaw or whatever. Come on, Saps, let's go. Let's go. <clears throat> I may go ahead and cut out all of the parts where I'm like, Sapphire, come on, let's go. Cause she's over here sniffing and carrying on and not paying attention and all that. Come on. Wow, look at that. Look at that bank formation there. You see that bank formation? It's like perfectly chiseled. I hear a waterfall up here. And I think I see a beaver dam. It's so freaking noisy. That uh, quadcopter controller hitting that tripod or whatever it is that's in the bag. Probably my other camera being my luck and it's probably going to break it. I don't care. That thing's a hundred dollar piece of junk anyway. Horrible audio quality. Horrible. Look. Little violets. And these look like rose bushes right here. Do they have thorns? Yeah, I think those are rose bushes, guys. This right here anyway. That's a rose bush. Somebody has cut one off of it. Come on, Seth. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. No. This way. She's so stubborn. When I tell her, come on, let's go, she doesn't listen to me. Okay. We'll go down here, baby girl. On the bank. Wow. Wow. Cool place. There's a dam over there. Let's go over here. Whoa. Real fine. River sand. Frogs swimming around. She could probably drink this. It looks clear, but I don't know what's on the other side of that. She's okay. 
if there's fish in it, I'm sure it's okay for her. She plays in the water. Wow. Look at this. A little brook going through here. I wouldn't let her drink Lakeside or Wall Park's water. <laughs> Sapphire. You like the water? Is it nice and cool for you? Is it cold? Don't run away. You can't go that way. You gotta come back this way. There's a tick on me. Okay, come on this way. Come over here. Come on. It just blew a tick off of me. It hadn't latched its fangs in yet. Come on, let's go. I'm gonna be pulling those fuckers off of me for a while. I hate ticks. That was a small one there. Hopefully she doesn't have any on her. This thing spread disease. Lyme disease. It'll kill your liver. Bad stuff. Yeah. Well, guys. I think, uh... We're going to go ahead and uh, start headed back because I think we're actually, the main trail is actually, lost, we lost the main trail. So, uh, I mean we got a little path here but I think it's just an animal path. Sapphire is hot, I'm hot. And I don't think we can really go any further, but we did find a really cool place. So, we're going to head back. Um, we'll set up here and take a final little outro. And uh, we'll head back to the car. Okay, Saps. Stop. Stop. Sit. Hey, guys. This is the end of our video now. Um, this is the long version of the video, the nature trail video. Thank you all so much for sticking in there and watching this video to the end. Uh, if you made it this far, you're a real champ. You're awesome. Be sure to hit like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what I'm, uh, how I'm doing, what I'm, uh, <laughs> how we're doing. Come on, baby girl. Pay attention here. We get a camera. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you want me to go out and do expeditions like this more often, please let me know in the comments below. Um, hit like, and be sure and share these videos, both of them, with your friends so that uh, you can help the channel grow. Um, thank you all so much for watching again, and stay tuned for more. Peace out, guys.